Okay, so I'm back with another lesson. Right now I want to talk about uh, chord construction, uh, the theory behind it and how it works. It's really um, pretty simple. We're going to go with the key of F like we did in the major scale videos, and I'm going to run you through the, the basic chord scale, the three-note triads, um, based on, on each note in the scale. Now the theory um, on how they came up with the basic chords is really easy. Um, you play every other note out of the scale and we'll just play the first note the third note and the fifth note of each mode to get the uh, corresponding uh, chord that goes along with it so um the first chord if we're in the key of f we played f major there's f g a b flat c d e and then f so if i play that scale and i play the first third and fifth notes i'll play the f We'll play the uh, A, and we'll play the C. Right? That's really simple. Now you notice how that sounds. Um, it's a major chord. It's very bright sounding, and that has to do with the way the notes are spaced. Um, between your first and second note in the chord, the first and third here, you have two whole steps. Now between your third note and the fifth, the C, you have a step and a half. And if you want to look at this on like a, on a one string thing, your tapping idea would be wide here, you know, one and five and then eight here. Okay, so that's the, the major chord formula. The difference between a major chord and a minor chord when you come across them is simply, they call it a flat third, which means this note would actually be here. The overall spacing would be the same, but you know, that's different, okay? So F major is F, A, and C. If I was to play F minor, be F, A flat, and C. It's easy to see on the one string like that. It makes a lot of sense, you know, and most of what uh, I grew up like hearing when I was younger, um, these tapping ideas were just, you know, triads, chords, and it's really cool. Um, but if you apply that to like a, a pattern here, your F, A, and C, your F major chord would be there. Okay? Now, any combination of those three notes, F, A, and C, is going to be the F major chord. Okay? So it doesn't matter what note you start on there. That's called an inversion when you start on, like if you start on the A, if you start it on the C they're still the F chord. And those are really handy for giving you different uh, ideas and, and figuring out how songs are played and stuff too, because a lot of guys, you'll have one guy playing down here in your typical shape and someone else will play an inversion higher on the neck. And uh, it makes the whole thing sound bigger. All right, moving to our next note, G, we're gonna play the first, third, and fifth note of this mode. Now remember, this is Dorian. This was uh, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, uh, F and then G again. So notice right away my first and third are close together. They're not stretched out. I have that short jump, okay, that I talked about earlier when I was, you know, discerning the difference between the uh, major and minor chord. Now the fifth is going to be the same place. Think power chord, you know. Like the fifth would be right here. Root fifth power chord. So you know you're going to play that note there and this note. Where's your third? It's either this or this. Well, in this case, it's this. It's a minor chord. So any combination of G, B flat, and D is G minor, all right? A G major chord would be G, B, and D. But in this key, we play G, B flat, and D because we're, we're playing the B flat. So, so far we have a major chord at F, a minor chord at the G, and we're going to go to the A note. Now remember our mode here is Phrygian. It was uh, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, okay? So there's that fifth again. We're going to play that. All right? So uh, the next, the third note I played in that mode was the C. So I have the short jump. This is a minor chord, A minor. All right, so major, minor, minor. All right? Now, moving to the next one, starting on B flat. We played, uh, this is the Lydian mode, we played B flat, 
C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, okay? So the fifth, the fifth is what the fifth is, you know, power chord again. So we're going to play for sure B flat and F, and we're going to reach up to this D. So this, this shape, it's the wide guy, and then the fifth. So this is the uh, major chord, B flat major. So we've got a major chord for the first, minor chord for the second, the third is a minor, and the fourth is a major. Major, minor, minor, major. There's a pattern. You remember it. It makes it a lot easier to get around. All right. Moving on. We're up to C now. C, D, E. This was the mixolydian mode. C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C. Okay. So power chord again. We're going to play C and G. The fifth fret, right? Or the fifth in the mode. Sorry. All right. The G is the fifth in the mode. We're going to use that like we always have. So we've got that one established. We're going to use the E. We're not playing E flat. We're playing E. Remember our scale. So C, E, G. C major. Right? So there's another major chord. So the fifth mode is also a major, you know, chord. I have major, minor, minor, major, Major. Now we're going to the sixth one. Now, if you remember, I talked about the sixth mode at length. Uh, well, I, I guess a little bit, um, as far as it being the natural minor scale. That tells you right away it's probably going to be a minor chord. And if you just sit down and do the the homework real quick, it is D, and we're going to play the A, you know, the fifth of this scale, the power chord deal, and then we're going to grab that F. So D F and A D minor. All right. All right. So now we're on to the seventh mode, the low cream mode. This is, uh, I think, the only exception we have when we play our triads as far as chord types. We've done majors and minors so far. This one's a little different. Now we're going to play E and N. This scale, we play a B flat, not a B. So our power chord, our fifth, is now flatted. So we're no longer playing the fifth. We've got a flatted fifth, which is really, really sweet. Um, and then we're going to play the, so we play E, skip F, go to G, E, G, and the flatted fifth B flat. And this is called a diminished chord. And that's a really cool one. It's not something you make a chord shape out of and strum on because it sounds kind of gnarly. It's, it's like if you laid out your tapping pattern that we talked about earlier, like your major chord, your minor chord, your diminished chord is that. So it's, it's uh, basically two step and a half ideas together. Okay. So here's our chord scale. We have major, minor, minor, major, major, minor diminished and then it repeats because we're back it out so I just had to play that last bit there just to like back to the octave you have so it was resolved they each have their own flavor and, and uh, sound and, and learn the notes in each chord uh, and then try their different inversions. It will help you understand things like further up on the neck when you apply the previous, uh, you know, lesson I did on finding your notes, knowing what notes are in a chord and then building your own shapes rather than looking them up, you know, you're going to remember them that much better. It, uh, it's really handy. And also, you know, like I talked about earlier, the tapping ideas. Pick, pick a chord and then and then try it. You know, A minor, for example, It'd be A, C, and E. So that's a super common shape. If I move it up a string, this is my root note. There's E. There's a C minor. There's a, you know, depending on if I maintain that same shape. You know what I mean? Because it, altering anything in that shape changes the chord as far as note placement relation in relation to the previous note all right so that's a basic rundown of chords we will expand upon that a little bit with some sweeping ideas and uh, some different things to help you um, see a bigger picture of each chord rather than just playing your typical 
open chord forms that everybody knows and then you know like some a lot of guys know these basic sweep shapes like four or five strings and whatnot you can expand them to six strings pretty easily and, and really monkey with it and make some some cool sounds so uh, I hope you enjoy the videos uh, keep watching uh, stay tuned I'm gonna keep posting and uh, we'll go from there thanks a lot